Greetings, TriStar fans. I have this early 70s C8 with the two-speed motor, and this particular machine has had its motor replaced, but it still has the two-speed motor switch. So, if you take out whatever you decide to use for a bag, you'll notice that there's your motor, and you may elect to put on some type of pre-motor filter. Whether it's something like this, which is a very low quality foam that uh, robs a bunch of CFM. Not a lot, but it's too much for the tiny amount of protection that it provides. I mean, if you hold this up to the light, you can see right through it. I mean, you can see all kinds of light right through it. You could take like a small needle uh, or maybe even a really, really tiny, thin nail and it would go right through it without actually making any of the holes any bigger. So this type of filter is really only meant to pre-filter large particles. Small particles are going to go right through. So when I went and refurbed my two TriStars, I had two of these, and one of them, in the process of cleaning it, literally disintegrated. So I don't have that one anymore. This one's in okay shape, but this is like, say, five bucks. For one dollar more, I found on eBay this HEPA. Ooh, HEPA. This HEPA pre-motor filter. And it's got all the right markings on it. And this was $6 US. So I don't have a link for this that I can post in the description because I think they only had one left. But this has all the HEPA markings. So removes 99.97% uh, of airborne particles, 0 0.3 microns. So guess what this video isn't going to be about? I'm not actually going to compare these from a filtration standpoint, because this one would be really terrible. This one should be H11, or really, really close. That's not actually the point of this video. I want to go and check out the airflow difference. We got an thermometer. Yeehaw. So I want to go and see how much airflow this actually sucks down versus how much this one sucks down. So the question is, we know this filter is going to filter so much better than this one, but will there be a price to be paid? Or will this more efficient HEPA filter use less CFM once it's installed? So let's give it a try. So we need to do baseline. So I'm just going to put in this cloth bag here. And then let me reorient you so we can get a reading of what this C8 pulls with no pre-motor filters of any type. And you know what? How about I at least open the bag? I haven't opened the bag yet. So I'll just cut this open here. I was kind of excited to find this at such a low price. I saw other HEPA filters, but they were priced a little heavier. Uh, a little higher. <laughs> a little heavier. Ooh, there we go. It says, change filter every six months. Uh, you shouldn't need to if you have a HEPA bag in here, because this shouldn't get dirty. So that's just another money-making scheme. So nice material in here. A lot of pleats. Okay, enough of that. Let's see what kind of airflow we have. Okay, so all we have is the cloth bag, and let's see what we get for CFM.
All right, I have 45, 47 times the conversion factor. And we're going to start out with 100 and, 119 CFM, but 118.7. So I'm going to write that down, if I can remember that. Now let's go and put in the foam filter. And by the way, I checked whether or not I have this clamped made no difference with CFM at all. Nothing. Didn't change a thing. One foam filter. There we go. Firmly inserted. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, we definitely had a drop. Wasn't a whole lot, but we still had some. So 4409 times the conversion factor. And we dropped down to 115.1. So let me write that down. 115.1. And that would be foam. So we lost 118.7 minus 115.1 so we lost glare we lost 3.6 cfm so getting close to 4 cfm all right now let me switch out to the hepa filter hepa goodness i hope it does well filter out, one HEPA filter in, Let's see what happens. Okay, 4370 times our conversion factor, and we are at 114.1 CFM. 114.1. And guess what? That is more restrictive, not much, but it's more restrictive than the foam filter with all those holes in it. So if I take 118.7 subtract 114.1 it, the difference is 1 CFM. So we're at a 4.6 CFM loss. So that particular filter I'm sure provides much better filtration but 
you will lose an additional one CFM. I know, whoop de doo So I think it's fair to say, whatever brand that's supposed to be, Dust, Dust Care. There you go, Dust, Dust Care brand. That even though there's only a one CFM loss, your ability to filter fine particles that's really on there <laughs> give me a second wow that's really on there boy when it fits it fits there that that is a tight fit i guess you would expect that Here and take a, a closer look at the both filters together. They are built a little differently. So one CFM difference with the HEPA filter, but you get probably H11 filtration. This is only going to take care of really, really large particles, and you still lose some. So you pay your money and you take your choice. This was one dollar more than this was, and I'll take this even though it hurts me with an additional one CFM. Okay, TriStar fans, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.